All right, I'm just gonna go over how to finalize your owls. So once you have lip synced it, which you do with Compute Lip Sync, and remember this is all after you've recorded the MP3, you've exported the MP3 out, you've imported it into Character Animator, and then drug it from here down to here. Once you have that in there, you do the lip sync, it puts it in there, but then you have to record a take. And you're gonna wanna make sure your webcam is on and your microphone is off, and then you're just going to hit record and you record yourself doing your different activities. Now to remember what your controls are, you can click on controls. Um, you gotta select your puppet, click on controls, and then you can hit generate controls if you have a button here, or update if you have an update button. But this will show you what your triggers are so you can remember what letters to push to use all your triggers. Then you just hit record, you blink your eyes and move your guy around and wave when it's time to wave and use your triggers and then stop it, and it will record all of that out, and that will be a take, which is down here. So then listen to your take, watch it back, make sure everything works, okay? And then once you've got it all, make sure at the end, if your owl is just like sitting here for a bunch of seconds, pull the edge of that in, trim that off, because we don't want it to just sit there and stare forward for like 20 seconds. Same thing if your take was too long like mine is, pull in these edges, so that everything is the same length. It needs to end at the same time. Oops, I just faded it out. That's not good. My camera input, that's fine. I guess it's not too noticeable. Um, oops, there I go again. Just be careful not to grab a hold of those. All right, so once you get all of that and you get it all taken care of, remember you can still move things around. So like if I needed to move my trigger for ideas down, I could pick it up and scoot it or make it last longer or whatever. So you can still move your triggers. But anyway, once it's all said and done, and you've tested it and everything seems to work, then you're ready to export this puppy out. And this is how we're going to encode it so we can upload it to YouTube. So once you save it, you're going to go to export, and then we're gonna go out to the Adobe Media Encoder. You can't do it from just in here. So Adobe Media Encoder is gonna ask us to name it, and in our case, I'm just gonna put this in the videos folder on the computer. I would suggest you probably put yours in there too. And then name it like finished owl or whatever. And it needs to be an MP4, an H264 MP4. And then you hit save. And then it should open up Adobe Media Encoder. You have to open up the Media Encoder to officially do this. So it's kind of a long process, uh, which is why I'm having you do it at the end of one hour and then we'll upload it the next hour. All right, so once you get into Adobe Media Encoder, it looks like this, and your file should already be here. And if you look, um, you've got the file format, so make sure it's H264. That's most common these days. And you can go ahead and set it to YouTube. It should already um, probably be set to that, but if not, you can use the YouTube preset, which is H264. Um, when you click on here, just going to look at it, play it one more time if you want to, just to make sure it looks right, like, you know as you see it. Um, but anyway, once that's all done, you should be ready to go. You're gonna hit OK, make sure it's exporting the video and audio and that you know where it's going, which should be back to your videos folder. Um, and then you've gotta actually start the queue. So that's this little green button here. So just having it in here doesn't do anything. We gotta hit this button to start. It's like a play button. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna encode it. Sometimes this takes a really long time. So you'll encode it. This one says it's gonna take like three minutes or whatever. Um, but when you're done, where it says output file here, that's where your file will be saved at, which should be on your computer. And if you go out to your, um, you know, your little file folder button down here, if you go out here, you should be able to find it under, um, scroll down a little bit here under videos. When you click on videos, then it should be in here. Once it gets finished, it's gonna be right here. It'll say zero bytes while it's making it, but when it's completely finished, there we go. See how it's switched when my view's on my thumbnails? So I've got it on icons. Now I can see it. Now before you upload this, double click it and make sure it works. So it should open up, listen to it, make sure that it does what it's supposed to do. If it's too long, like see here, mine is really, really long. That's going to indicate some sort of problem. So you're gonna to have to go back out. Let's take a look in here and see if we can figure out what's causing the problem. 
And basically, if you if you click off, make sure you're not clicked on your owl or anything, and I'm not. Click down here in the open space, and you can see over here it tells you my duration. So it's set to 63 seconds, which is why it's so long. Now mine's really super long because I didn't really do what I was supposed to do like you are, but this tells you mine's supposed to be about 8 seconds. And uh, clearly 63 seconds is way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. We'll say uh, 8.5 seconds or something. Now it trims it down. Do you see this grayish area up here? That shows you how long the duration is. So before I had a big long gray area up there. So when you get ready to do yours, you check this ahead of time before you actually export it. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to have to go back through here yet again and go back out into Adobe Media Encoder. And I can save it over the other one if I want to. Um, but basically, same process. And then again, you want to double check it when you're done to make sure that it exported properly. I'm not going to make you watch it go through all this again, but H.264, YouTube, make sure it's in the right place. Hit your play button to start the encoding. Um, it should do the encoding. Um, and then again, when it's done, go double check it. Make sure you come out here um, and then check it again. But that's pretty much the story here for how to do these projects. And then make sure that you delete any ones that you don't need. Um, and then you'll upload those into YouTube. The upload into YouTube is pretty simple once you have your YouTube channel um, set up. There's a big arrow in the top right hand corner um, and you'll upload that there. So here's my new one. I would double check this one to make sure it's good. And this one seems better. It's got eight, nine seconds. So we're good to go. All right. So I hope that helps you with how to export your owls from Character Animator through Adobe Media Encoder.